I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Digital Storm X17. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, this is not the prettiest laptop on the block, although it may look very familiar because if you've seen some other reviews we've done of boutique gaming laptops or you've gone shopping for one uh, yourself, uh, from maybe from Digital Storm, from Origin, or any one of those other little companies, they all look kind of the same because they're all built around uh, the same off-the-shelf chassis, uh, in this case from a company called Clevo. And what uh, boutique gaming uh, laptop and desktop companies do is they get these uh, generic cases, then they open them up, put in their own high-end components, uh, assemble it by hand, burn it in, test it, and then send it to you. So you're really paying for the assembly, the high-end components, the testing, uh, the really in-depth support that comes with it, not for the actual look and feel of the laptop because this is a very premium priced product. It's $2,000 doesn't really look and feel like a $2,000 laptop. All the value is really on the inside rather than the outside. But if you're okay with that, uh, this is actually the best price I've been able to find for this particular set of components, which has a quad-core Core i7 processor, the highest end of AMD's uh, current graphics cards, and 16 gigs of RAM, which is pretty cool, uh, coupled with, unfortunately, a keyboard that's backlit, but not a fantastic keyboard, a touchpad that's pretty small with little clunky buttons down there at the bottom. At least if you're going to be gaming a lot on the big 17-inch uh, 1080p screen, you're probably going to have an external mouse plugged in all the time, so the touchpad shouldn't bother you too much. Uh, some companies customize this case a little bit, like by putting a different back panel on it. In this case, uh, Digital Storm just kind of wrote their name over here, and again on the back. Uh, that actually kind of takes away from the look even a little bit more. You'd almost rather be sort of, uh, you know, generic and, and, and understated. Uh, you may not want to take this, uh, let's say, to the coffee shop, not that you'd fit in one of those little coffee shop boots with a big honking laptop like this. So unlike uh, some other gaming uh, big systems, like let's say the Razer Blade that are very slim, or, or an HP Envy uh, that can also be reasonably slim, this is big, it's thick, it's chunky, it's heavy. However, the performance is fantastic, and even though it's still expensive at $2,000, uh, it's a couple hundred bucks less than you'd be able to put the same system together from, from other boutique PC vendors. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Digital Storm X17.